Welcome back to EMC, everyone. My GD2RS was dead. The computer basically shut down. Let me do a little explanation if you did not see my IG reels. The GD2RS project car, pretty much all done. We installed all of the bolt-ons. And then the last step, we have the COB, COBB access port. What you can do is marry these two through the OBD2, and then you can take the stock files, send it to a tuner, whoever you want. My guy is Sam from By Design. Big ups to you, Sam. However, we ran into a big problem. These two were not able to communicate with each other. Kind of stopped in the middle and everything just shut down and I was not able to start the car back up. I sent the Cobb as well as my stock ECU back to them. Thank you guys. They revived it. They restored it to the stock settings, to the stock map. We're gonna put the ECU back in the car. Wish us luck. All right, the moment of truth. This better start. If it doesn't, it means that I have to buy a whole new ECU, which is gonna be super costly. I don't even know how much that is, but I'm guessing it's around like five or 6,000 USD. You guys think it's gonna be good? It should be good. Yeah, it's alive! Woo! Woo, I'm gonna do a dance. I'm gonna let the car warm up. I'm gonna let the car run for a little while. I'm super relieved. The ECU is back to stock setting for now. I'm gonna get going. You guys keep watching. A couple weeks has passed. It's back up and running. I just wanted to say thank you, Cobb Tuning, for helping me resolve this situation. Cobb Tuning, I have to say, there was nothing wrong with them. We weren't even able to get past the simple first step of trying to retrieve the stock OEM map. These are the problems that we all encounter with the car mod life. Uh, this is something that I really wanted to talk to everyone about, and this is why I wanted to make this vlog. There's multiple ways of tuning your ECU, but when you have something like the Cobb Tuning, you work with someone off-site and remotely. You work with an experienced tuner, and that's what you should always do, either locally or remotely. And I chose Sam from By Design. And I have to say, we never tuned this car yet. So there was nothing wrong with Sam from By Design because he didn't even give me a tune yet. The issue that I wanted to talk to everyone is, when you are tuning your car, you wanna open up your ECU, you need to have someone there for you when you need them. They gotta be super professional, and they gotta be trustworthy and they have to have a great reputation. You know what, Cobb Tuning and Sam from By Design, they have all that. But I think my problem is that they're too remote. They're too far away. They're tens and thousands of kilometers away from Taipei. I chose to come back to Motormax because they're local. I've worked with them previously and all of my experiences with Motormax have been fucking just top notch, two thumbs up. At the end of the day, I didn't want to have any more troubles. So I came back here. I'll let Daniel come over and just kind of take us through everything. All right? Okay. Okay, no problem. Wow, this is you, man. You killed me once. 原厂的电脑是有问题的吗 这个instant的这个救援啊，如果是说在我们区内的东西，那我们可以提供马上的协助，这个是我么可以做的。所以我这些bolt Shopping 
Auto b o n d 的玩法跟欧洲人。还有，比如说我们在亚洲的话，又是另外一种玩法。我觉得就是 safe 就好了，因为我们不一定都是一直要谈零到四来。再来，这台车子已经很夸张了。对，够快了，够快了。这,这了我说实话，我已经 handle 不了，我只是有一点疯狂，我只想要更快。这车只能横着开哎。对，这样改完四要小心一点。对对对对对对,对,对。所以，所以我只有天气好的时候才会带它出来开一开这样子的。It's called the Widow Maker for a reason。所以我等下去试车。然后感受一下，你觉得应该怎么样？你有你有开过了吗？我昨天开的感想就是说，这车真的不会值哎、欸，<笑><笑><笑>他已经先享受了。Yeah. 谢谢你跟小邱，真的、yeah. ，Thank you guys， 啊、yes, yes. uh, ，Guys， pleasure, pleasure. Anytime, anytime. you guys know who to go to， all right， yeah, Motor Max， gotta find Daniel， all right guys， peace, peace out， yeah， I'm gonna go for a drive now。On the freeway,、uh, it does shift a little bit quicker. I don't think it's any louder than it was before. It was already too loud. This car came with about 700 horsepower already.、Uh, if we're gaining another 80 to 90, it's like what 12 percent. It's not a huge change, but sometimes that you know little percentage does help a lot. You know, 80, 90, dude, is is more than enough. Like way more than enough. You know what? I'm gonna shift it down to、uh, manual mode. Let's go. Third, ready. One, two, three. Shit! Wow, that is massive power. Alex, that was a little bit scary. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I noticed that it shifts a lot quicker now, and it downshifts. It kind of knows when I want to downshift. It's getting smarter. See, it jumps down to two. It knows when I want to go now. It's learning. It's being smart. Thank you, Xiao Chong, Alban. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Tech Tech. God. Oh my God, that is scary. <laughs> that is scary. That's a little bit scary. Gone to hold the yoy dian dian. Yoy piao. Yoy dian dian piao. Yeah, it's so fast. Ah,、uh, I I can't tell you guys how fast we're going. I'm sorry. All right,、um, and we're in Japan right now. <laughs> we're in Japan. I can definitely feel the power difference. I can definitely feel it.、Uh, it's definitely there. I mean, it's not like crazy. This car is already super fast. Okay, I'm satisfied. I'm enjoying this drive. I miss this car. I do want to make more content with this car, and I know I should be driving it more, and I will. I promise you guys, I will be making cooler content,、uh, and I want to become a better driver. I've said that for a long time, but you know, these couple years, it's been hectic, it's been crazy. But EMC, we've been growing, so thank you all for your support. Keep watching. All right, on to the next one. Peace out. <laughs> calm down, calm down. All right, on to the next one. Peace out.